this year, the American Contact Dermatitis Society is announcing isoporneal acrylate as the allergen of the year. It is an acrylic monomer that's used in, as an adhesive and has lots of utilities in uh, different industries, including printing industry, uh, glass industry, fiberglass, uh, and it also is used in medical devices. Uh, it probably has other applications, but we have to look for them. Uh, so the reason that this allergen was uh, chosen this year is um, because of multiple case reports of patients developing contact allergy to their diabetes associated devices such as glucose monitoring devices or uh, the, the pumps, the, the insulin pumps. And um, so in order to... Uh, so. The series of patients actually were seen, uh, were reported initially, and then the chemical analysis of the device was done, and this uh, allergen was identified. The significance of this allergen as opposed to other acrylates is, and we wanted to bring awareness, is um, testing with um, routine acrylic panels does not um, identify this allergen. Isoporneal acrylate does not cross-react with metacrylate and other type of acrylates that we routinely test for. So awareness is important. And um, so in terms of your question about what to do with the patients who had, who are suspected to having these allergies, as of now, majority of the cases are patients who had problems with their diabetes associated devices, but we don't think it should be limited to that. I think, I'm hoping that clinicians have an open mind and think about other things, because other potentials could be acrylic nails and um, other industries. Um, then uh, if you're dealing with a patient who has a diabetes-associated device dermatitis, uh, also testing with patient products is always very helpful and it always provides clinicians with more information. Uh, in terms of treatment of uh, current patients, there might be some other alternative devices that are available in the ma market to try. And the future directions, which we hope, uh, we, we wanted to uh, signify is that, you know, um, close collaboration between clinicians and medical device industry is always very important and helpful in providing the optimum care for the patients. Uh, and um, hopefully, um, I don't know at what point in time, but hopefully we can have some directions for the device in, medical device industry to have complete labeling of their products. Um, and um, so that's why for a number of these reasons this allergen was chosen as the allergen of the year.